In today's video, I'm going to show you the best method to farming EV reducing berries in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So EV reducing berries are a super important item for a lot of players in regards to competitive play, playing online or just getting a team ready because if you've got Pokemon that you want to use, say Pokemon you've just caught throughout your playthrough or Pokemon you've been training up through levels, they may have EVs that you don't want them to have and you want a way to get rid of them. Now, the best way and the only way we've got in the games at the moment to get rid of them, unlike Sword and Shield where we had an EV remover, uh, we don't have that as of yet in Scarlet and Violet. That might be something that they do introduce at some point in a DLC potentially, but for now, we have to rely on berries. And if you don't know what I'm talking Talking about there are six berries you can get access to in these games and they all will reduce a specific EV that they're related to by 10 EVs so you're gonna need 26 EVs in total to completely remove a maxed EV stat the pomeg is the HP reducing berry you can tell in the descriptions here the Kelpsy does attack Quala does defense Special attack is Honju, special defense is Greppa, and then speed reducing berry is Tomato Berry. Now these are quite rare berries, but there are two areas I've found on the map that are probably the best places to come and farm these items. And there's a way to sweep this area. And also then once you've done that, you can then use the Datescape glitch to get back the gleaming objects and do another sweep and do it as much as you like until you've got as many EV reducing berries as you need. So the area on the map that I'm talking about are East Province Area 2 and East Province Area 1. So the area that we're starting in is East Province Area 2. This Pokemon Center is where our icon is right now and it's easy enough to get to. It's going to be accessible pretty early game as well. And then you're going to have East Province Area 1 to the left of this area as well, which is going to check. So I did say I do a sweep of this area this area over the river here and then this area up here and then kind of make my way back to the Pokemon Center where I would then do the Datescape glitch reset, get back all of the gleaming objects which are all EV reducing berries and then do the process again. Now you can go down into this area, I've done a couple of times, but just for the, the sake of doing quick sweeps and then resetting the game, doing the Datescape and getting back more gleaming objects and then go on and getting more EV reducing berries. I'm just doing like these three areas, which is making it a bit quicker. So you can see there are going to be a couple around the Pokemon Center as soon as you kind of spawn into this area. And you just need to keep an eye open for where these are. There's another one there. And we get a Pomeg berry. Basically, all you want to do is make your way around these areas. You're going to find a bunch of the EV reducing berries as you go around the honju berry there and they're all going to be different you'll get all six different ev reducing berries as you'll go around this area so it is very good but it is a little time consuming that's all i'll say but i mean it feels like the best way to specifically go after these items without having to kind of trawl around the entire Paldea region, kind of just collecting every single item that you come across. At least you've got an idea now. I can just come to this area and just collect as many eBay berries as I would like because um, you can do this process over and over and over again until your heart's content, until you've got as many as you need. And if you are a competitive player, this is a really important item to have for being able to kind of change EVs on your Pokemon, change spreads and do all sorts of cool things. And just for reference, I'll put up a clip on the, the screen now of when I was just initially doing this. And when I started doing it, it was nighttime in the game. And I just feel like, like it might just be subconsciously because it, it seems easier, but I feel like I did find a lot more items. And it's not that they, the glistening objects aren't here this time. It's just I'm not spotting them as easy. So it could be one of those things when you decide to do this, you do it at night time because it maybe is easier to spot these items and it would effectively become a bit more of a streamlined method doing it this way. But again, it might just be me who has difficulty spotting them during the day. There we go. There's another Kelpsy Berry, Hondu Berry, another Hondu Berry. And another area that you can just sweep through is if you come from the Pokemon Center over this bridge here. You'll be able to jump up here. There's, oh, there's normally a glistening object here. That's a Qualot Berry. And then you can just do a sweep. You can go up this way because then you've got more chances of finding more glistening objects. So it depends how much time you've got and you want to spend doing this. 
But like I say, this area does have a lot of the glistening items around it. It's just easy enough for me to just to sweep these three areas and then return to the Pokemon Center. And you get a good haul every time you do it. Then the Grepper Berry, Mato Berry. That is all of the kind of areas that it would do. And then, like I say, we'll just come back to the Pokemon Center here. Just have a quick look to see what numbers we're looking at with the berries that I've got. Like I say, I haven't done this a huge amount of times, but I've already got like 53 Pomeg Berries, Kelpsy, Qualot, Hondu, Grepper, and Tomato. So I've nearly got, like, I've got enough to, like, to get rid of a complete maxed a stat from one Pokemon in each stat now. So that's really good. Nearly two in some of the, the berries here. So you could do this just like three or four times and you're going to be able to do it. So what I mean by respawning the objects is you just save your game, come back to the Pokemon Center. You can do this anywhere. Uh, you want to just save your game, then hit the home menu, close your game. And this is the only way to really get these items back very quickly. And you want to just come down to system date in time make sure your synchronized clock is off via the internet and then just skip your date day forward by one click ok then come back into your game load it up and that will it and when you come back into the game you are going to have all of these sparkly objects back in the area where you've just been and you can go through and repeat the process and just carry on farming ev reducing berries until your heart is content and like i say it's a really good specific way of getting these items when it doesn't seem like there's any areas anywhere else specifically where you can just pick these up. Okay, you can see we are loaded back in now and in front of us we've got a Kelpsy Berry there. Like I say, there are a number of them around the Pokemon Center as you're here. So if you just kind of wander around, you get the idea that there's a Pomeg Berry there. There's the other one that always spawns up on this ridge as well. So you're going to be able to kind of see this one here, which will be right there so you get the idea and you can just go through the entire area once again just sweep through and pick up all the the berries once again and you by doing this you're never going to be short of ev reducing berries you're always going to have the option then to tweak your evs and all that sort of good stuff on your competitive teams or just general teams that you're putting together in the game so I hope you found this video and guide useful, friends. It is, I think, quite an important one to put out now, and it is available in areas that are accessible early on in the game. Obviously, being next to Lavincia Town as well, these areas, it is going to be somewhere that you can get to quite quickly and take full advantage of using the date skip glitch to respawn them. If you don't want to use it, then you can just wait 24 hours as soon as the clock ticks over to the next day those glistening items will be respawned. It will just take you a bit longer to acquire the amount of berries you're gonna need, but it is a way to farm them if you don't wanna use the date skip glitch, which I understand some people don't. So the options there, these two areas, East Province area one and area two are the places where you're gonna find all of the EV reducing berries and uh, good luck farming them. So thank you for tuning in friends. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next video. So until then friends, Take care and bye-bye.